Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm Bob. I'm Dan. And this is the Board Game Rundown. Today, we are going to review Pandasaurus's The Game. I just say it like that. That's it. That's kind of yeah. how Thanks it Thanks for watching. Feel. I've been Bob. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was going to look real quick. Uh, Stefan Bendorf Ooh. Okay. Uh, uh, designed this. Uh, so this is a relatively straightforward sure. uh, party game okay. if you hate parties and games. <laughs> no, you can play one to five players. Uh, basically, everybody's going to have... Uh, up, what, like five, six cards in their hand? I thought it was five. Five cards in your maybe hand. Six, maybe six. And you are building, you're trying to get through the entire deck of mm -hmm. cards. There are, the cards are from two to 99. And you're going to play cards from your hand. And that's a terrible play. That was a terrible, was a play. terrible play. Oh, that but look, good, that's though. better. <laughs> uh, so uh, once you play a card, you can't go below, right? Or over here, once you play a card, you can't go above. Right. The right, hundreds yep. count down, the ones count up. Thank you. That's a nice way to say it. Yep. Uh, now, there is a way to sort of cheat a little bit. Like, let's say I don't have it in my hand, but let's say there was a 50 here. You could play a 60. You can move by tens, Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, to jump you back. You count or up or down normally, but then uh, you can go back backwards on that track yes. by increments of 10. Like one time we played and I had like a 25 and it was like, oh, a 35, a 45, a 55. And I was able to move it 30 back yes. the other way. And you can play as time. many cards as you want from your hand on your turn, but mm -hmm. you must play at least two. A which, rule that I just could not remember. Yeah. <laughs> which forces really bad decisions. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not even bad decisions. There's just no good decisions. Right. right. right? Yeah. So that I think will come into play in some of the reviews. Right. The yeah. game is like <laughs> just designed around the idea of lesser of two evils. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, this game is mean. Yeah. This game is mean. It will slap you around and it will make you feel inferior. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, I don't know about you guys, but I have actually, with a group of four people, won the game yeah. one time. Yeah. I've act yeah, we've beaten it before too, but it is it is basically what cards you draw. Yes. You just right. might not have the right numbers, it might not be that person's turn. And it's the only pure luck. way to mitigate is sort of the timing of your decisions. But yes, it is pure luck because you're also not allowed to talk uh, about it. Talk really. about you specifics in your hand. Right. You, you can say, say like, don't, say, play, on yeah, don't pile, play on the stack. Yeah. yeah. Like or you could say, if you play a card on that stack, I will break all of your fingers. Right. Which is how Tim talks when he plays this game. It pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. <laughs> uh, and I usually don't talk like that during co-ops. <laughs> like, yeah, whatever you want to do, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I mm -hmm. really wanted to try to win. We did not. Uh, but anyways, the game. We're going to give this a real quick review. There's not much else to it. I mean, yeah, right. really, it's, to it's, go it's, into it. I mean, they literally just called super. it the game. There's not yeah. much to talk about right. here. Yeah. So, so, Dan, give us the expurgated version of how we come up with the rating. So, we'll we scored out of 10. Three scores would be confusing to remember. So, we each give it a score, but then we average them together so that places like Board Game Geek only have to worry about one score. And you guys can tell people Board Game Rundown gave it this, not Tim gave it this, Dan gave it this, Bob gave it this. Yeah. Super easy. It is yeah. super easy. Yeah. Barely an inconvenience. Dan, <laughs> what? rating do you give the game uh well i wouldn't recommend it but i also <laughs> but i also actually don't dislike it i actually liked it i enjoyed yeah. the experience but yeah. there's so many games that have a similar idea that do it better i just you know it's a pretty old game too i mean it's not it's like few ancient, years old yeah. but it's you know yeah. it's been out a little while yeah, and, right, a few years. and um other games have done what this game does and it doesn't sound bad. i don't know i wouldn't recommend it is what i'm trying to say sure. so I am probably going to give it... It's it's above average, though. I had fun. Like I said, it's an interesting idea. I liked it. So I'm going to go like... Uh, I'm going to go like a 6.5, I think. Uh, it's, that's, I, that's not bad. Yeah, it might be a 6, but for now... I said, I actually had quite a bit of fun playing it. I was like, you know, the thinking was interesting, being like, okay. and then, and then you Tim, don't think very much. Right. And then right. Tim would play something, and I'd be like... Uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, like, there's a whole bunch of that. <laughs> yeah. There's a whole bunch of that. So yeah, I I enjoyed the experience, but I, I'm probably not bringing it to the table again. Sure, yeah. sure. What do you got, Bobby? Uh, I'd probably give it like a like a five and a half. A five and a half. Yeah, it's it's not my favorite. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, I know when we brought it out, and you're yeah. like, oh no. Uh, yeah, like I mean, and like I said, I'll play it. Somebody brings the table, they really want to play it. I'll play it. Sure. I mean, it's not like that. I make bad decisions in the game and therefore i, I well and like again it, though it's, it's 20 minutes you know yeah to, exactly it's not very long and i said it's, it's there's a lot of other pure luck types of games that right. I, I enjoy playing more right. than just looking at my hand and being like these go nowhere yeah you know? yeah well, <laughs> so i guess i like the stress of that okay uh i don't love this game right like mm -hmm. i don't this doesn't like hit it when i first got it it kind of hit the table a lot because of the challenge Right. Like, well, we gotta just let's just try to beat this. We gotta at least thing. beat it once before we put the box away. Yeah, and play it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we got a lot of play early on, mm -hmm. um, 
and I kind of just saw it there and I was like, we should just do a review of it. Like just, it's an older game, bring it back out, just see, mm-hmm. blow the dust off of it and see. I mean, this is like a, I, I'm bouncing between a six and a half and a seven Okay. because I like it. Uh, I like playing it. Mm-hmm. I don't, I wouldn't just bring it out to anybody. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, oh, you want to try something really difficult? <laughs> sure. Like, I'm going to get the game out. I kind of yeah. don't want to talk to you for like yeah. 30 minutes. It's like, <laughs> oh, do you want to be really irritated with me when we're done? Because yeah. like, we could play this. We could play anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to come down on a seven, though, because when I first got this game, mm-hmm. uh, we played it a lot. We yeah. played it quite a bit. And I would have people that wanted to play it because mm-hmm. they, w- it's the challenge of trying to beat it. it is sure. But I guess to me, like that challenge is you can't really mitigate that challenge by being skillful. It's basically what you got. In your well, hand. I mean, yes, but I mean, the, the skill, grizzled guess, is like that also, and it's really a little mean. bit. But the grizzled, but the, you can do different things with those cards, and so it does kind of lend to a little bit more strategy. Where I, this is just purely like I have these numbers; they can only go here, right? Except that you, right? I think this. I've only played once. I think <laughs> I think where the skill would come in would be how you communicate with your group. Yes, because what your cards have you have in your hand, yes, can only go in certain places. But there are three other people playing cards before Up your to, turn. So right. how can you guys communicate in a way that gets sure. stuff done? I think that's the if skill. If you can play on and, all four and piles, sometimes you can only of play course, on one or two piles. Of course. And I've played this solo. I've mm. played I've got the app. I've played the app like mm. just like kill a few minutes. Sure. Like I've got 5 minutes to burn. Uh the app is fine. You know, yeah. it's very straightforward. You know, just hey, try to beat the game. Right. Tell you how terrible you are when you've got like more oh, than twenty I have cards. Eighty left. cards off the my deck. Yeah, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> this went badly. Yeah, but yeah. So Bob, what is our? Uh, so that makes the average a little six point three. Right. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Not bad considering that Bob really doesn't like it. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're like, Sorry. yeah, it's yeah, fine. It's, yeah, you know, it's, it's what it is. I mean, I would say <laughs> if if this appeals to you, the idea of this mm-hmm. appeals to you, uh, check it out. You're not yeah. going to be out a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, and it's, it, it's interesting, but I guess Dan and I like challenging co-ops. Yeah. This is I mean, a challenging co-op. I like challenging co-ops No, you too, don't. But Clearly you don't. He likes Typically bad I like co-ops. It. What? Huh? Spirit Island? What? what? Oh, wow. boy. Wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait, we're not even going to go there. At least, you know, that oh, takes boy. some strategy and skill and, you know, Oh, planning. boy. But uh, apart from that. <laughs> no, but anyways, the game. The game. It's around. Check it out. If yeah. any of this sounds interesting to you, I would just say buy it. It's uh, cheap. But I'm going to also say that if any of this sounds like, eh, I don't know, right. then just stay away. Yeah. Again, there are, there are other games that do very similar. I can see when this came out why it was kind of talked about and right. why it's like this interesting little thing. Mm. But so many things do a similar thing now that I just, meh. We right. even, we even re- recently, I know this is uh, way different, but you know, we even recently reviewed Dead Man's Draw, which is just a push your luck little thing. And it's just like, if I'm going to play a little card game that has this luck thing in it, now it's not cooperative, of course, but like, why wouldn't I just play that? Like, There's just so many other games that have... Not even similar mechanics to this, but pieces of this. Sure. They, I, wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, uh, for the board game rundown, I've been Tim. I've been Bob. I was Dan. And this was the game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the board game rundown. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Share our videos on social media and spread the word. We publish new content weekly, including reviews, unboxing, and let's plays. And as always, thanks for watching.